With the recent excitement of the Stardew Valley 1.6 update lingering in the air and now being ever so close to releasing, today I am going to be telling you guys what you need to know and what to expect once it drops so you don't get too overwhelmed this will give you a better understanding and make it much more easier to explore 1.6 so the first thing to understand is this update is going to be free this is not a dlc this is not paid for just like the rest of the updates concerned ape update stardew valley for free bringing lots of amazing major content to the game keeping it alive because he is such a great guy also this update is a guaranteed 2024 release this is confirmed by the developer himself when somebody asked him on twitter saying do you think it'll be a 2024 release concerned ape replied with yes absolutely now in my opinion this is going to come sooner in the year rather than later i am still predicting a release for feb 26th which will mark the eighth year anniversary for stardew valley this would be a perfect fitting time in my opinion to release a major update but who knows this is just my prediction and another reason why i think this update will be coming sooner rather than later is because we did have another tweet recently from the developer saying i am done adding major content to 1.6 now and it's in a bug fixing and polishing phase until it's ready for release thanks for your patience it'll be fun to see everyone play it so the fact that the update is now just in the testing stages testing for bugs and fixing them and polishing the game this means the update is practically finished and soon ready to be released and another indication to why i think this is coming soon is because concerned ape if you didn't know is currently working on another game his second project called haunted chocolatier the development for this game was on hold for quite some time whilst 1.6 was getting worked on for stardew valley but recently haunted chocolatier is back in development concerned ape has been putting a lot of posts on instagram indicating that haunted chocolatier is still in development which also means that stardew valley 1.6 is basically finished now something else to know is this update the 1.6 was originally meant to be quite small and only made for modders to make their lives easier so there was going to be a lot of quality of life features in this 1.6 there still is going to be which makes modding the game much more simplified and of course we were still going to get some content with this but on a much more smaller scale but with the recent tweet from concerned ape he has basically said that 1.6 ended up being a little larger in scope than originally planned. But just how big will 1.6 be? Well, somebody actually commented asking him, saying how would you say it compares to the size of 1.5? Surely we aren't getting another island full of content, right? And Concerned Ape replied saying, it's hard to compare because 1.5 was all about a big new area, whereas 1.6 is about adding more to the old stuff in the game with a lot of little things. So. He didn't rule out saying no, 1.6 is smaller than 1.5, you know, 1.5 was a huge update. The fact that he's not even said that means that 1.6 is going to be pretty huge guys, a lot of content, just like he said there, lots of little things. So yes, we might not be getting a brand new area like Ginger Island, but there'll be lots of new fresh content and all those little things do add up. And some of this content that you can expect to see are things like three brand new festivals, one of them being a major one and two being mini. We've got a brand new farm type, similar to the last two updates that we've had there's going to be loads of new late game content expanded skills new items and crafting recipes joji alternatives to some of the end game quests 100 plus new lines of dialogue winter outfits for the villagers new types of rewards for billboard requests new secrets and much more there is a ton of content to come with 1.6 now something else you guys need to be aware of is the fact that 1.6 will be coming to PC first just like all the rest of the updates and then soon followed will come the console and mobiles. In the previous updates the console and mobile players have had to wait quite a long time to get these updates and somebody actually tweeted Concerned Ape saying will it be available to everyone at the same time or will the mobile players have to wait and his response was it will likely come to PC first but I really really don't want a big delay between PC and console slash mobile that was a nightmare in the past so his plan is to try and release this 1.6 for console and mobile port much more faster and bear in mind he does now have a team with him as well he's not doing this solo so this is going to help release those updates pretty fast so just be patient if you are playing on console or mobile the update will come don't pester him too much you know it's quite stressful and hard work uh it's going to come to pc first and that is all we know for now now when the 1.6 releases i recommend you all to start a brand new farm to fully enjoy 
Joy 1.6. Now, the reason for this is because if you are on, let's say, a farm that you are year 10 plus, basically completed it, when you load that farm up, you will get full access to all of the 1.6 content. It's basically just going to be there instantly in your game. It's not going to make sense. Where did it come from? How do you get it? What is this? What is that? That might be fun to some people. But if you want to really, really enjoy this update to the max potential, starting a new save, which bear in mind we do get a brand new farm type, so this is very fitting. Just playing through the game naturally, you will unlock some of the 1.6 content in different areas. You know, you might get it in the first season, the first year. It's going to be much more fitting. You'll understand it much more better. And I think it'll be more exciting this way as well. You don't want to just load into a game and you've got every single recipe unlocked and you don't know what it is or where it's come from and the story behind it. So, my opinion, start a brand new save to enjoy it. You don't have to, but I personally will be doing this myself. And once you've discovered all of the new content uh, by starting a new save, you, you can then go into your old saves, instantly unlock it all, and it will make more sense then, you'd know where it's come from. Now, if you are a PC player and you like using mods, be aware, because the 1.6 update may break your game. Because this is such a huge update, and bear in mind, one of the main things with 1.6 is to help with modders. There's a lot of things going to be changing in the coding, in the ports. Mods may not work for quite some time. You need to be patient and let the modders update their mods to make them compatible. So don't go loading up your saves with lots of mods, expecting it to work. Also be aware you don't want to lose saves. So back up any save files. You don't want any corruption and just hold off until all the mods get updated. Mods can be very dangerous. And yeah, if you are not careful, from my experience, you can lose farms, which is not fun. Now, another super fun thing with this 1.6 update, if you like playing with friends and you love multiplayer, well, if you're on PC, Stardew Valley will now be supported for 8-player multiplayer. Like I said, this is only for PC players only though. So, rather than just having 3 cabins and there's 4 of you on a farm, this is going to be doubled, guys. You can have 8 players on a farm, enjoying farming together, relaxing. This is going to be amazing and this should be smooth. You should get no glitches, no bugs, no crashes because it is now going to be compatible. Stardew Valley will support this. So if you are a huge multiplayer fan and you've got a lot of friends or you want to play with your family, now is going to be the perfect time to do this. And lastly, what I want to talk about, guys, is when the 1.6 update drops, I will be covering quite a lot of content on the channel, discovering and showcasing all of this new stuff. So if you do not want any spoilers, please do not click on those videos and watch them if you want to discover the things yourself, because there may be a lot of spoilers throughout my channel once the update drops. So, you know, please be advised and watch only if you don't mind seeing some of the new content. This is a very exciting time right now for Stardew Valley and the community. It's been a couple of years since we had the last update, so this is... Uh, yeah, this is a shock actually because nobody expected this. We knew there was going to be a 1.6 But we thought it was just gonna be small, but this seems to be a very big one I can't wait to see all of the new content There's gonna be so much more in this update that we uh, have not known about because Concerned Ape likes to keep things on the low, keep it a secret for us all to find and discover ourselves. We only know a fraction of this update and it's going to be super exciting to discover it. And I can't wait to do this myself and enjoy it with you guys. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you want to see lots of 1.6 content. I'll be doing a new playthrough. Me and Pox will be doing a season 3 for our competitive multiplayer, which is going to be 1.6 inspired. I'll be breaking down lots of the new content, giving you guides for the people who might maybe a little bit overwhelmed and confused by all of this new content that will be coming and we'll just be having fun and learning and discovering this new stuff if you are excited please smash that like button and let me know down below what you are most looking forward to in the update or what you would love to see get added that has not been mentioned as of yet just a short one today so thank you all for watching make sure you stay safe and stay cozy